For a little girl in Hartford, each small step is a bigger milestone than the last. Three-year-old Avery Hill is a bundle of energy, and she'll make you laugh. Her own life has had some serious setbacks, though, starting the day she was born. Avery's mom says that the last few years have been challenging, but the family hasn't faced difficulties all alone. On tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Brady Mallory shows you this girl's fighting spirit and how Children's Miracle Network has been there through it all. Can you reach it? When you're under four feet tall, everything seems out of reach. All right, she's getting your walker. Fortunately for Avery Hill, someone's always there to lift her up. Oh, crap. There you go. This three year old is always going after something. She helps her mom bake. Yeah, cookies. She loves to color. And she's never afraid to tell you what she's thinking. Here, Ma, I think this one is dried out. It's a happy home for Avery, parents Mindy and Jared, and baby sister Reagan. Life, though, is a constant climb for the Hill family. It's hard to see her go through, you know, like struggling to sit up and struggling to roll over and, you know, now struggling to kind of, you know, get past the hurdles with, you know, having a walker. Avery was born 11 weeks premature and had two brain bleeds. In all, Avery spent more than two months in the Sanford NICU. You feel so in control when they're, when they're inside and you feel like you can kind of take care of them and then they come out and you have to allow this other team of people to kind of do all the work. That wasn't the end of the tough road for this little girl. Just a year later, Doctors diagnosed Avery with cerebral palsy. And so that was tough. Not as tough as Avery, though. She just keeps going. No, really. It's hard to keep up with her. Oh, my goodness. Yes, she's all over the place. Mindy says it's pretty special seeing her daughter reach such milestones. You know, she didn't hit him at the same time that all the other kids her age did, but she, she kind of did it in her own way, in her own fashion, and in her own time, for sure. The Hills never had to walk alone on this journey. When Avery was in the NICU, Sanford Children's Hospital was there with all of the bells and whistles in technology, and the Children's Miracle Network gave much needed support to the family. There are going to be some hard times, but there are people there that are kind of behind you and got your back. Which brings us here. Whether she is dressing up as Thomas the Train for Halloween, making a splash, or doing one of her favorite therapies, riding Peggy Sue the horse. I like me. <laughs> Avery's life is a good one. We're just so blessed to be, you know, in a place with so many great, um, she's got so many great physical therapists, occupational therapists. <laughs> so even when the road is rocky, Avery Hill just keeps going and manages to lift us all up. She's just so happy. It's, it's hard to be upset or sad around her. She's just a happy kid. Sure, she's just three years old and under four feet tall. But you better believe nothing is out of her reach. Yeah. Good job, Avery. <laughs> With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Brady Mallory. <laughs> Mindy is using her family story to help other families. She is part of a spark of hope, a group of parents who have gone through the NICU experience who can rely on and support other parents going through a similar experience.